Learning and literacy went hand in hand at this year's annual Authors Conference. Held at the Chicharo Club March 8th, this was the fifth year the Pediatric Read Program of Windsor Essex has hosted the event. In the biggest turnout yet, over 1,500 elementary and high school students showed up in busloads to attend. The annual conference is meant to celebrate literacy through interactive sessions held between students and successful authors. Cassandra Curtis is the president of Pediatric Read and has organized the conference each year. We've been doing Pediatric Read since actually in 2004. We started off with just giving a book to every baby born in Windsor and Essex County to promote literacy from birth. And now we decided we want to encourage those who are already in school to, you know, just enjoy reading a book and enjoy writing. Some kids do and some kids really are into sports and different activities so they get away from reading. So we're trying to say to them, come back to reading. You can go to so many different places and enjoy so many different, um, learn so many different things if you just read. To celebrate the bicentennial of the War of 1812, this year's theme was 200 years of peace. And how um, grateful we are to be living in Canada and to be living in a peaceful country. We are so, um, such a diverse community and so multicultural, um, we know that some of the um, students who came here are not from a peaceful place. So, I mean, it was the opportunity for us to celebrate peace. Featured this year were four authors from across Canada and the United States. Each author wrote fictions that shed some light on this historical event. One of the authors was Harvard University student Noni Carter. She wrote a book called Good Fortune, which is about the life of a young woman slave in the 1800s who struggles with defining freedom. My goal is usually to share this, first of all, the importance of education, um, but I love sharing this message through creativity and through poetry and through um, the desire to reach our dreams and goals, so hopefully that message will be imparted. Another author was Robert Lytle, a pharmacist from Michigan. He brought humor into his presentation to the students and taught them that you can wear more than one hat in life, no matter what profession you choose. Just as the students were learning about him as an author, he had a similar experience as a child that inspired him and motivated him to write. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I went to, uh, I grew up in Saginaw, Michigan, and they had this big event at, at, at a uh, at a theater where all the I think, fifth graders throughout the whole city of Saginaw came and sat in this big auditorium that had this poet come. And you know, that's, that impacted me uh, to the point where I, I felt that, you know, there was really something to all this. It's not just uh, a, a school assignment that, that you have to do. You have to write a poem or write a short story. You have, you know, this is something that people can do all their lives and do do all their lives and become very important for it. And I've not become very important for it, but I, uh, I have a lot of fun with it. So uh, that's, that's just as important. After getting ramped up about writing, students were encouraged to enter a writing contest with an iPod Touch and an iPad 2 as the grand prizes. Students were excited to hear from the authors and said they learned a few things and had some fun. TD Canada Trust has continued to sponsor the event each year. Manager Marie Pronovo said literacy is and always will be an important cause to support in the community. We'll just say as a major company in, in the city of Windsor and actually you know across Canada, um, TD really does try to pick uh, those um, uh, I guess charities and or um, community events that support things that are important for a growing community and obviously literacy amongst children um, is a real important thing for for the future of our you know country and also for the future of our uh, having employees that can come in to work at TD Bank too. Melanie Nada teaches grade 6 at Northwood Public School. Her class does reading and writing for a hundred minutes a day. She said this conference was a great way to reinforce the importance of literacy to her students. I really hope that it gives them the incentive to be more creative in their writing and possibly become authors themselves in the future. Each year, Cassandra said she hopes the conference imparts an important message to students. 
Reading takes you to a different world. Reading gives you knowledge. Knowledge and understanding of what our different cultures are, what they represent. If you can read about someone's culture that you don't know anything about, then you get a better understanding of who they are. Reporting for MediaPlex News Now, I'm Rebecca Wright.